Well, can remember that. So today we have a special class. Today we're working with Anya Chakra, our third eye center. The third eye is about the clarity. When we talk about the different energetic centers, we're not actually talking about that point on our skin. We're talking about roughly that point on the spine. So when we go all the way up to the third eye, we're actually talking about the brain. So today the practice is about the center of the brain, our eyebrow center. The eyebrow center is about that feeling of lightness, clarity, that vision, and it's about that focus. So we are clear and we go for our goals. Now the practice today will be very specific. I will be encouraging you to listen to your breath throughout and to actually count your inhales and your exhales so that you make sure that the inhales and the exhales are of the same count. That means that if you're inhaling for four, so inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, inhale, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four, inhale and so on so if you're inhaling for four you're exhaling for four you can start just by sitting up tall and noticing your breath noticing how long it takes you to inhale and how long it takes you to naturally exhale And then you want to add some more substance to your breath so that when you inhale, you fill up the lungs with air. And when you exhale, you empty your lungs. Good. So now you have a rough idea of what it is for you. Um, how long it takes you to inhale and how long it takes you to exhale. So maybe you're inhaling for four and exhaling for six. Now you want to make your inhale and your exhale even, which means that you will also be wanting to exhale for four. Or maybe you find a compromise of five, just as long as the inhale and the exhale are actually comfortable and deep without you straining yourself so that you're able to complete the full breath with a full inhale and a complete exhale. So see what works for you and take just a few seconds where you're practicing with that count. Inhaling for that count. No gap in between, just the natural gap and then exhale for the same count. Again, no gap in between, no holding the breath, just naturally, and the exhale, and then inhale for the same count, and keep going. Relax your eyebrows, relax your jaw, and you can come to all fours. Keep counting in the same way, we'll just do a small warm up. So we keep inhaling for that count, and exhaling for that count. Now you want to have some props next to you. So already kneeling on the mat is not comfortable for you. Then you can fold your mat or you can place a blanket under the knees. You can also have a belt or a strap next to you and also a blanket, a bolster, anything to make the poses comfortable. Once you collect those props, come to all fours, make this position comfortable, and breathe. Breathe for that excellent round your back, and for that inhale, and arch the back. Keep your face relaxed, and just use this as your warm-up. 
You'll be listening to different bells. That means that the three minute mark is over for each pose. So for each pose, you'll be holding the pose in full stillness so that you practice your focus for that amount of time. According to the Yoga Sutras, the asana, the postures, should be comfortable and still. So that's what we're going for. If there's something else you want to add, you can bring one arm up and the opposite leg up as you inhale and then down. And inhale, opposite legs up and exhale down. Make this work for you just to warm up. Keep following that steady breath. And then next time you bring the right knee down, you actually bring the right foot all the way forward and you'll come to your version of Kabyasana runner's lunge. So you can again fold the mat under your left knee. You can stay down or you can come up with your hands. Keep the hips moving forward or bring the arms all the way up. I'll, give, I'll be giving different suggestions. Remember, you want to make this a comfortable pose for you and a motionless pose. So take these first 20 seconds to find your pose and then breathe in stillness. The count of the breath will keep you focused and will anchor you down, calm the mind down. Being still might be a big challenge for you, much harder than moving around and using your strength in a different way. So experience the turmoil by staying calm, by counting the breath. Stay physically active. This is not yin. And breathe. Inhale for the same count and exhale for the same count. Make sure that your eyes are not going around. Fixate your eyes at a point that's not moving. And breathe in and breathe out for the same count. We're going to come out of the poses very slowly. So keep following your breath. Bring your right knee back and take your left foot forward. Take the same variation as on the other side. Keep the hips going forward. You can bring your hands onto the left thigh. You can place something under your knee, something under the hands if the hands stay on the ground. Or you can bring the arms all the way up. Remember, you want to be comfortable in the pose and completely still. Good. Now that you've found your variation, fix your eyes at the point and fix your attention on the count. Keep breathing long, deep, even steady breaths, which means you keep listening to that count playing in your head and you're inhaling steadily for that 
count and exhaling steadily for that same count. No holding on the breath, no inconsistencies. Just keep that flow going and allow the count to keep your mind focused. Stay with the count, no matter the games that the mind is playing, just keep going back to that count, back to that breath. Stay active with your body and keep breathing. Again, make it your challenge to move out of the pose with caution. You'll bring the right foot to the outside of the right hand now, lizard pose. You can stay with the knee quite close or you can move the knee back, open up the hips a bit more. Again, remember to place a cushion under the left knee if needed and to place blocks under the hands. If you want to go deeper, you can bring the elbows onto the blocks or onto the mat, and you can stay lower. Once you find your pose, relax your head, relax your shoulder blades down the back, but keep the bandas working. So press down into the feet, pull forward to the pelvic floor, set your belly in and forward, wrist in and forward. Press the hands down, the feet down, and breathe into that count. Keep that count steady and even. Keep coming back to the breath. Do not allow the distractions of the mind to take you away from your posture. Keep going back to that count and stay present. Very slowly, start coming out of the pose. 
and I get switch sides. Bring the left foot to the outside. Keep the right knee close or far away. Attack the back toes. Stay up. And maybe come lower. Use props as needed. And then use your breath as your anchor. Relax the head. Keep the right glute active. Keep the left thigh active and breathe. Even inhale and exhale. Going back to your hands. Keep the count as you move out of the toes slowly and come to lie on your belly. Bhujangasana, snake pose. So you have the option of staying with sphinx. If you want the feet to be together, press down onto the tops of the feet so that the knee can lift and the glutes are active. Elbows under the shoulders. You can stay here in sphinx pose, pushing the chest forward, pulling the shoulder blades back. Option to straighten the arms, come to steel pose. Option to move the hands back, keep the elbows bent, and pull the chest forward. Cobra pose. Three minutes in whichever variation you choose. Stay active with the body and use your breath as your savior. Breathe and count. Keep the glutes active, keep the bandas working, pulling the pelvic floor up, 
tightening the lower belly in, reaching it up, pulling the shoulders back, pushing the chest forward, the chin up, and breathing. Even comfortable breath. Watch any desire to leave the pose and let it go. Come back to the breath, come back to the count. Very slowly now, move away, move forward. Dhanurasana, bow pose. Now for bow pose, you can use a strap, strap it around the legs and grab onto the strap, or you can grab the ankles or the tops of the feet. Cool away through the knees and cool forward through the chin. From here, you kick back and up and you find a variation that works for you. Hold the pose, stay still. Keep the thighs off the ground, keep the chest up. The eyes are fixed at a point, the legs are active, glutes work, lower belly works, chest is dropped, keep breathing, stay with the count. Stay with the breath. Allow the breath to comfort you, to ground you down while reaching up through the legs, through the arms, the chest. And slowly come back down. Use your hands. To help yourself to a seated position. Bring your feet together, Varakonasana, Varango pose. So remember, you want to find full stillness. Press the feet together, reach the knees away, pull the belly in, open up the chest, and stay in this extension variation. So the back of the crown reaches up. As you're breathing.
you're coming back to the count. The count is what's going to keep you sane. Keep counting the inhale. And then allow the exhale to be complete and to take the same amount of time as the inhale took. Complete breaths, deep, long, continuous, even, steady breath. Keep your spine long, reaching out through the back of the skull. Tits bones grounding you down. And with that long spine, you can use your hands to bring the knees in. You'll bring the left leg under and the right foot on top for a twist. If your hips are not grounded, you can extend the bottom leg and keep the foot flexed. We will twist to the right. If you're grounded with the knee in, allow the left foot to be on the outside of the right knee. You can hack the knee, you can go for the inside or go for any variation, maybe a bind. Reach up to the scalp and twist in the same vertical axis. Keep thinking of the right, keep moving forward, the lower belly pulling in and to the left and allow your chest to open to the right, the shoulder to open to the right, and even your head, your gaze to move to the right. Keep breathing steadily. Inhale for a count. And exhale, count the exhale, allow it to be as long as the inhale was and keep going. Complete stillness. Staying with that peaceful state of mind. Sweet sides. Take it easy. Take it slow. Control every movement. Round through the sit bones, maybe extend the bottom leg if needed. Find your variation with the arms. Reach up first and then twist in that vertical line. Send the left hip forward, the lower belly in, up to the right. 
and the chest to the left, the shoulders to the left, the gaze to the left. When you find your position, stay completely still. We want our body to be still so that our thoughts can also calm down so that we can see clearly what's happening in our head, in our body, in our reality. Keep focusing on the count, inhaling and exhaling for the same number. complete stillness of the body. Complete even breaths. Keep your eyes focused at a point. Keep your mind focused at the count. Very slowly, move out of the post. Find your strap, a towel, a belt, and lie on your back. We'll bring the right leg up, point both legs. So if you can grab onto the sheen or onto the foot, then you don't need a strap. Otherwise, strap your foot at the center of the sole and pull with the hands. Keep both legs pointed or flointed. Flointing means that the toes pull back as the rest of the foot is pointing. And then keep contracting the thighs. Keep the bottom leg, the left leg straight and grounded. Use your glutes and breathe. Once you find your variation, keep your legs straight. Maybe your left hand is supporting the left thigh. Maybe it also catches onto the right leg. Find stillness and find your steady breath and breathe. Again, it's not about going deeper into the pose, it's about stillness. So commit to your variation and just keep the engagements of the legs and keep the breath steady. Count the inhale, count the exhale.
stay with the count and grab the instep of the right foot or keep grabbing the strap with the right hand. Place the left hand on the left thigh. Make sure that the left hip stays as it is. And open up the right hip. So external rotation of the right leg and take the right leg towards the right as you gaze towards the left. Lateral stretch. So reach away to the right leg. Pull the shoulder blades down. Keep reaching away through the right foot, pointed foot, and ground through the hips. Keep both feet grounded, both feet pointed. Keep the lower belly sucked in, reaching up. And once you find your variation with the foot all the way down or up, just stay there still and breathe. Both legs are straight. Keep breathing. Keep the glutes active, the thighs active. Now slowly bring the leg back in and take the leg down. You can take just a second to feel how your hips feel, your legs feel, and then point both feet again. We're going to balance out any imbalance that you might be feeling. Bring the left leg up. Keep the leg straight, keep both legs straight, pointed. And again, grab onto the shin, grab onto the strap, strapping the foot from the sole, center of the sole, or grab the foot. Find straight legs, find active thighs, pointed feet. Pull the lower belly in and towards the chest. And then be still. Count your inhale and count your exhale. Keep the legs straight, the feet pointed. Keep the body completely motionless and just breathe in and breathe out for the same count.
And then bring your right hand on the right thigh. Extend, rotate the left leg. Grab the strap with the hand or the left instep with the left hand. Gaze to the right as you open up the leg to the left. Keep the leg straight, the feet pointed. Left foot might come to the ground or it might stay up. Just make sure that the right hip is grounded and the left thigh is externally rotating. Keep the feet pointed, the shoulders back in space, shoulder blades down in space. Gazing at the fixed point beyond your right shoulder. Just again, find that count and breathe. Keep breathing, even breaths, steady breaths. Good job. Slowly bring the leg back in, keeping the belly engaged, using the strength of your legs. And we'll come up to a seated position for passing on Tanasana. You want to send your pubis all the way back, pull the lower belly in and reach up, flex the feet and Fall over the legs using the strength of your legs. So use the strength of your quads to reach the chest forward. Maybe you grab onto the big toes, maybe hands to the ground. So keep integrity in your posture and keep the lower belly sucked in and reaching forward. You might be higher up or you might be all the way down onto the legs depending on your flexibility. Don't rely on your flexibility, rely on your strength. It's an active stretch just like the previous poses. So keep the feet active, flex, keep the quads working, pull the shoulders towards the back, reach the back of the crown towards the front, and breathe. Steady, even breath. We'll be holding this pose for a bit longer. This is our final pose, so stay focused. Keep your eyes fixed at a point, keep your mind fixed on the count. Inhale for the same count. 
as your Excel text. Now, you can go deeper by grabbing the outsides of the feet, by grabbing opposite wrists, or you can stay where you were. If it's too much, this is your opportunity to place a cushion under your sit bones to help you pull a bit forward, or you can bend the knees but keep the thighs active, keep the lower belly stacking and reaching forward. Final moments in this pose, passing up to Nasana, stay the forward fold. Keep the feet flexed, keep your eyes fixed at a point and focus on your even breath. Focus on the count. Stay in your stillness. Keep counting. Very slowly. Come on. Very slowly. Lie back. Shavasana. Allow your feet to splay out, your arms to open up to the sides of the body, palms open to the sky. Slightly bring your chin in. Slowly tuck the tailbone under to lengthen the neck and lower back. Relax your breath. Release the count. Relax the muscles of the face. Relax.
We're no longer counting the breath. We're allowing our breath to be natural. Allowing the body to be comfortable, relaxed. We're now watching anything that might come up after the practice. Just like things surfacing up in the ocean. Imagine that you're the ocean. You're not your thoughts, you're not your feelings. This will just surface up and you observe them, you watch them as like a movie. Watch what comes up, but do not identify with it. Just observe. Relax and watch. Stay present, stay relaxed and just watch what comes up, feelings, thoughts, take it as feedback, relax and watch. Now very gently bring your awareness back to your physical body, back to the space occupied by your physical body. Start wiggling your fingers and your toes. Start moving your head from side to side. Then breathe deeply into all of the movements. Exhale and move a bit deeper, exploring your articulations, your joints, moving arms and legs, head. You can bring your arms overhead and stretch the torso. And you can bring your knees in, hack your knees, roll from side to side and come down to one side to carefully come to a seated position. Take your time to find a seated position. Round down for the six bones. 
go lower belly in and then reach up and send your pubis back in space. Open up the chest, pull the shoulders back, the shoulder blades down, reach up through the back of the scalp. We'll finish with a moment of full stillness, higher spira in this meditative position. If you choose to, you can extend your arms and bring thumbs and index fingers together with the wrists resting on the knees. Extend the rest of the fingers. Relax the face, reach up through the back of the crown. Inhale deeply from your roots all the way up in a straight line. Exhale through the mouth, keep the engagements. Relax here and watch anything that might come up. Yoga is the practice of calming the mind down so you can see clearly, see who you are, see why you are. And in that way you get to know and you get to make the choices that serve your health and happiness and that serve the wider world. Take some time every day to be still and to watch so that you can see clearly. You have the paint, you have the brushes, so paint paradise and indigo. Relax your elbows, relax your hands and bring palms to heart center. Thank you for committing to such a diverse practice today, a more classical yoga practice. The wisdom in me honors and celebrates the wisdom in you. Namaste, I bow to you. Good job, everyone. Thank you for joining through Zoom, anyone who joined to Instagram. And if there's any suggestions, you let me know. Take care and feel free to spend some more moments of silence so that you stay in that introspective mode and you keep building what you want in life one step at a time.